Welcome to Deal Delver, the series where I let you know about the latest single player PC gaming deals. Whether you're hunting for free games, cheap games, or want to stay up to date with subscription services, you've come to the right place. Let's not waste any time and get straight to the deals. Kicking things off with the latest free games, Epic is giving away The Evil Within 2, a survival horror game with a remarkable, very positive 92% review score on Steam. The first game was free last week, so be sure to claim this one to complete your collection. You'll find the link to claim this game, as well as the other offers mentioned in this video, in the description below the like button. Epic is also giving away Tandem, A Tale of Shadows, a puzzle platformer that switches between a top-down view and side-scrolling, offering a dose of gameplay variety. With a solid, very positive 88% rating on Steam, this one's worth adding to your library. Make sure to grab these titles before Thursday, when Epic rolls out Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion and Fist Forged in Shadow Torch as their next giveaways. Fanatical is also in on the action, offering a giveaway for 12 is better than 6, a top-down shooter infused with stealth elements set in the Wild West. While you'll need to subscribe to their newsletter to claim this Steam key, rest assured it's easy to unsubscribe afterwards. This title boasts a very positive 83% score on Steam. Moving on to subscription services, PC Game Pass has just introduced the unfinished City Skylines 2. As expected, the performance is pretty terrible, especially considering how simple the graphics are. I played it for a few hours and had some fun with it, but it definitely needed more time in the oven. Steam reviews agree, with the game currently sitting at a mixed 52% review score. It might be wise to hold off on diving into this title, unless you have a very high-end GPU and CPU. Expect to wait 6 plus months on this one, how they get it into a releasable state. On a brighter note, the colorful Minico's Night Market makes its grand entrance on Game Pass. It offers a narrative-driven social simulation adventure that celebrates Japanese culture. Additionally, Jusant joins the Game Pass roster as a day one release on October 31st, treating players to an action puzzle climbing experience crafted by Don't Nod, known for their work on the Life is Strange series. I played the demo during Steam Next Fest back in June and had a good time with it. It features an engaging, interactive climbing system without being complicated. The serene climbing experience is reminiscent of the tranquil walking sections in Death Stranding. I mentioned this in last week's video, but as a reminder, the five games showcased on screen are set to leave Game Pass on October 31st. To help you plan your gaming time accordingly, I've included the estimated playtimes from HowLongToBeat.com. If you find these videos valuable, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support goes a long way. EA Play and Game Pass Ultimate have just added the Dead Space remake. As a horror game, this addition perfectly aligns with the spooky vibes of the Halloween season, making it a must-play for horror enthusiasts. You've got to hand it to Amazon, because they just added Super Adventure Hand, which you can claim with an Amazon Prime subscription. It's a puzzle platformer that offers a gripping hand venture where you single-handedly face dangerous obstacles and defeat a handful of evil feet. Now, let's take a look at some of the stellar sales in the PC gaming world. Kicking things off with Steam, Red Dead Redemption 2 steals the spotlight, offering an expansive open world experience crafted by Rockstar. Garnering over 175 Game of the Year awards in 2019, this title is a steal at its current price of just $24. Soma, the stellar psychological horror experience, is up for grabs at a compelling price point. Despite not being a horror enthusiast myself, I found Soma to be an exceptional experience after playing it due to a friend's recommendation. Boasting an impressive, overwhelmingly positive 95% review score on Steam, this gem is currently available at an irresistible price of $6. Steam also has Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy on sale for $15. I played it back in February when it was on Game Pass and ended up loving it, after some initial frustrations. 
Most of the frustration actually came from an issue with my machine, but there were also parts of the early game that I wasn't a fan of. It's not tied to the movies, and it uses different voice actors and character models, but they do a fantastic job. The combat is serviceable, but the main reason to play it is its engaging narrative that's complemented by dynamic characters and immersive storytelling. In celebration of Fallout Day, Bethesda has unleashed an array of discounts on everything Fallout. Whether you're looking to complete your collection or dive into the Fallout universe for the first time, now's the perfect opportunity to see some incredible deals. The Fallout Franchise Bundle, priced at $62.83, offers a comprehensive package that includes all your favorite titles, and will be even cheaper if you already own some of the games. Meanwhile, Capcom is luring gamers with its Halloween publisher sale, offering discounts on a wide array of beloved franchises, including Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, and Monster Hunter, among others in their impressive catalog. Looking for more thrills? Alan Wake Remastered is a standout offering on sale at Epic, serving as a perfect precursor to the just-released Alan Wake 2, which is getting rave reviews. With its gripping narrative and immersive gameplay, this remastered version is a steal at just $10. GOG is also brimming with enticing deals, featuring the renowned Witcher series, including The Witcher 1, 2, and 3. While The Witcher 1 may be considered the weakest entry in the series, it still delivers a solid gaming experience, especially at its current price of $2. The Witcher 2 improved upon the first in a number of ways, and can be had for just $4. Of course, The Witcher 3 is a true masterpiece. It's an immersive open-world RPG experience with rich storytelling and captivating characters. It's one of my all-time favorites, behind only the Mass Effect trilogy. The complete edition, which includes the fantastic DLCs, is only $15. Would you kindly consider another series that's on sale at GOG? Bioshock 1 Remastered is available for just $5. It's a classic game that did a lot for storytelling in FPS games. Bioshock 2 was a step back for the series, but it's still a good game and is only $3. Bioshock Infinite is stellar, and the complete edition, which includes all DLC, is only $11. GOG has the System Shock remake for $30, which is 25% off. This is a faithful remake of the 1994 original, enhanced with modern updates and quality of life improvements. This remake stays true to the essence of the original, while offering a revamped experience tailored to modern audiences. By all accounts, it sounds like Night Dive Studio succeeded. For fans of action RPGs, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition is another standout title on sale at GOG. Priced at $16.49, this critically acclaimed game invites players into an open world filled with deadly machines and rich storytelling. If you're looking to catch up on the Stalker series before the release of Stalker 2 in early 2024, Fanatical has you covered with the Stalker Complete Bundle. This bundle includes Stalker Shadows of Chernobyl, Stalker Clear Sky, and Stalker Call the Pripyat, delivering a trio of immersive experiences for the price of $8. Have any of these deals caught your eye? Let me know in the comments below the like button. If you're hungry for more content, here's another video you might enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this is Sniper, logging out.